boys and girls, in um, celebration of Lagba Omer, I chose a holiday for Ari Ant. It's a Lagba Omer story. Ari Ant lived on a school playground. He loved watching the children play and laugh, even though he had to be careful of their running feet or scramble out of the way or uh, 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 scramble out of the way of an oncoming tricycle. Excuse me. One day, Ari sat with the children under a large shady tree as they listened to their teacher telling them about the holiday of Lagba Omer. A long, long time ago, the Jewish people weren't allowed to listen to the Torah stories, she told them. But the children wanted to hear those stories so much that they pretended to go to go olive picking and took their picnic, branch, picnic lunches excuse me, into the hills. After their picnic, they nestled in caves and they heard the wonderful stories that they loved. Soon we will celebrate Lagba Omer and go on a picnic and listen to stories too, just like those children did so long ago, said their teacher. Ari couldn't wait. Later that day, Ari sat, saw two girls having a pretend Lagba Omer picnic. They spread out a blanket and put plates of food on it. Ari didn't notice that the food wasn't real. The hungry little ant crept up and bit into a cookie, but his teeth couldn't grasp it. its hard, slippery surface. I'm not sure I like Lagba Omer, said Ari, very disappointed. The next morning, Ari and watched closely as some children played in the sandbox, making a cave out of wet sand. They carefully put their dolls inside and whispered stories into the cave opening. Ari eagerly crawled inside the cave. He wanted to hear those stories too, but suddenly a big lump of sand fell on top of him. Ari could hardly breathe. He scurried away to safety. I'm not sure that I like Lagba Omer. He coughed the sand, coughed the sandy little ant. After lunch, Ari watched the children as they gathered happily around an outdoor table. They were decorating visors with sparkly sequins for the picnic. Ari climbed up to get a closer look. And he stepped right into a puzzle of glue. Oh no, his feet were stuck fast. As he had to use all of his strength to pull himself free. I'm not sure I like Lagba Omer, said the sticky ant. Back on the ground, Ari noticed a shiny red sequin. I like the sparkly cap, he thought. He picked it up and he tried it on. So he at last, the day of the picnic arrived and Ari Ant was ready to go. In fact, he had been ready and waiting since early morning. At noon, the children raced outside wearing sparkly visors and carrying their picnic baskets. Ari quickly jumped onto the boy's shoe and held on tight as the children followed their teacher through the schoolyard and into the nearby park. In the distance, Ari saw a small hill as the children ran up to it. Ari lost his grip. Wait for me, he panted, trying to keep up. Ari huffed and puffed as he climbed the hill. I hope I don't miss all the fun, he thought. At last, he reached the top, and the children were helping to open the large umbrella. Wow, exclaimed Ari. It looks just like a cave. The teacher unfolded a big blanket and laid it on the ground. Ari scrambled to find a safe place to sit. What a lunch! There were watermelon slices, hot dogs, brownies, grapes. Crumbs fell everywhere along with drops of watermelon juice. Ari didn't know what to try first. Later, the children listened to Torah stories. Ari sighed happily. Ah, oh, he loved that part. The sun began to set and the children's parents arrived. Some were carrying wood for a bonfire. And under the evening sky, as the flame gently shimmered, Ari Ant rubbed his full tummy and exclaimed, I love Lagba Omer. It's the perfect holiday for me. The end.